All right, y'all, welcome back to the shop. Let's get started. Hey, folks, welcome back to the shop. It's Sunday morning, I think, uh, December 6th. A little chilly here in the shop this morning, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you my old rocket stove here. Now, if you don't know what a rocket stove is, let me try to give you a brief explanation. Let me lower the camera so you can see the bottom of this thing. <clears throat> All right. So, this is where your wood goes in, this riser right here. This is a clean-out port. This is an old uh, air compressor tank that I cut the bottom off of. And inside here is an insulated pipe that creates an extreme downdraft through this port. And this is where you load your wood in here. You go like this and drop your wood in. And uh, so the way this works is extreme draft down that tube. The fire is burning down there. It changes the direction of the fire from vertical to horizontal. And it shoots it through this pipe here straight into that insulated pipe on the inside. It's really pretty cool. That, in turn, the fire goes up through the center of that insulated pipe, comes out the top, and does one of these deals where it rolls over, and it goes over the whole top, and comes back down, and the um, exhaust is in the back, on the bottom, no less. Let me get this back up just a little bit so you can see. Um, the exhaust is back here in the back, and it comes out of the bottom, basically at the same height as this, but right around there. Now, this is bolted down onto a piece of insulating fire rope, so that if I ever wanted to take this off and clean out the, the inside of this, because the ash will collect down in here on the bottom, and it, it's got about, oh, five or six inches above the vent pipe in the back. So, again, you feed your wood in here. It's basically self-feeding after the... After it gets started, the sticks and stuff will drop gradually down inside like this, burn off, and you just keep throwing little bits of sticks and stuff in there. And this thing, this stove happens to like one inch, one inch square pieces or one inch round pieces. It likes them. You don't want to choke it off, so you can't put too much in at a time. I mean, you could fill this whole thing, and it will set itself down in there and burn, and it, it'll bring this shop up to nice toasty in no time. But let me uh, let me get it set up. And let me see if I can get it going for you and show you how we start it. All right, y'all, so I got some wood in there, and what I do is I take the clean-out cover, and I put it on the top until this starts to generate draft that pulls the fire the correct way. Now, it's not the dead of winter here. It's about 28, I think, 27 degrees outside, so the colder it is, the easier it is to start this stove, but my typical method may not be the same as what everybody else uses. There's a, a whole gamut of videos on YouTube about rocket stoves. So, but what I do is I put some fodder in here and I get some light stuff. I like to use these little um, shavings off of a plane, hand plane. I put them in there, I'll set this in, and I'll let it keep blowing through until I start to feel warmth going up that uh, silver pipe in the back. So let's see what happens. We'll put this in here. As you can see, it wants to come out this pipe first until it burns through. And once it starts to create a draft, it won't do that. And I probably have too much stuff in here. There it goes. So now it's starting to clean up. Like I said, if I was doing this in the dead of winter, you wouldn't have anything come up out of that pipe like that. But we're going to let this go. We're going to let it warm up and get it going. And then I'm going to show you why they call it a rocket stove. Okay, folks. So we got her going. I'm going to stick this microphone down in there so that you can hear why they call it a rocket stove. Just turn it up a little. And I'm hoping you can see that in there, that that fire is burning horizontal now, not vertical. This is cool to the touch. So there's no heat, no, no fire coming back up there. As I said, I can show you now I got the camera in my hand. There's your vent. Goes out, up, and through the roof. And typically these things run cold enough that I can hold my hand on that pipe with it running, but do not put your hand right there. I've had this stove up to about 700 degrees. So that's what we got here, folks, a rocket stove. Let me get you a shot here from the side. 
and as you can see it's a J shaped device that goes up through like I said a rocket stove of all things forty seven degrees y'all the stove has been running for 10-15 minutes and it's raised at 5 degrees. We'll check back in a little bit and see if it's doing its job. Okay folks, 20 minutes later, 54 degrees. Almost 10. I'd say that wood stove works. Now you can hear it roaring. We'll be toasty in no time. And like I said, folks, they're pretty interesting. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about them. Um, they were originally designed, I believe, for uh, in Africa and places where they don't have cooking ability. They would not put the outside tank on. They would just use the internal components and set a pot or a pan on top of it and cook with them. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of how I heat my shop, and as always, give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. Hit the subscribe button only once. If you've done it, you're already signed up, you're already subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post in the future, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one.